engineered an intelligent tag system. If you've ever been in a shop and you've seen these little bits of annoying plastic that hang off the clothing, if somebody tries to walk out the store and steal something, it triggers an alarm at the door. Well, my thoughts got going of, it's all fair and well knowing somebody's just stolen something, but wouldn't it be much better to know what they've stolen? You know, so somebody's just walked out the door and a tag's gone off and we immediately look and it says, it's a, for use yourself, an orange jumper. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, madam. We forgot to remove the tag from you. Because you know she just bought that. Paid for you know, it. Paid for it, honestly. And you stop at the door. I'm terribly, terribly sorry, madam. We forgot to remove the tag from your clothing. Takes a lot of the embarrassment out of the situation. Rather than, could you come back inside, madam, we search you? And, you know, which is the way things tended to be done. Even though she might legitimately bought something, she could also have stolen something else. So it was a more intelligent way of dealing with it. However, the circuitry we had to put on, it was quite heavy. And unlike the normal tagging system, which are passive, these normal systems work just by interrupting a sound wave that goes across it. My system actually had a little battery in the inside of it that sent a signal out. So they were heavy, they didn't work terribly well, and they certainly weren't suitable for garments because they were too heavy and would pull the cloth. But we did use them for inventory control, we did use them for stock control systems, we did use them for um, a, a minimal disease pig farm. Um, we, we used them in a variety of different ways, we used them for vehicle control systems. Um, and personnel control. And if you actually think nowadays, you know, the personal control market, I looked this up the other day there, is worth, um, can't remember where to put this down there, it's worth billions anyway. And, uh, and of course, one of the other things is telematics, vehicle telematics, which is one of the things that we experiment with my tank for, is again, another multi-billion pound uh, business. So maybe if I'd stuck with that concept, would have done something. As it happens at the time, it was hemorrhaging money, and I just bailed out, sold the idea to somebody else and moved on, uh, and they never made a commercial success of it either.